Hey guys, it's Jen Coyle from Hello Brio Studio. In this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to mock up a quick blog header using existing illustrations and an existing font. You can download clip art from a whole bunch of places. I recommend Creative Market because there's a whole bunch of really fun illustrations that are already created for you. This is my new leaves and branches pack, so I'm just going to use one of these to show you what can be possible. So in here, you can see that they're all black and white doodles. So I'm just going to choose one of these to bring over to our logo, which will eventually look like this. Because I want to introduce some color, I want to bring over one of the leaf doodles that has some open leaves in it. So I'm going to choose this one, hit Command C to copy it, Command N for new document so I don't mess up this original document, and then paste it in here. I can quickly zoom in by hitting Z on my keyboard and drawing a box around my illustration. I can quickly color in the leaves in here by using the live paint tool. So I'll show you how to do that. First, you want to click on your object using the select tool then click K on your keyboard, and then click the color that you want to use. I'll just choose this green. And now you can see when you highlight over your illustration, you could click to start coloring in each individual section here. If you wanted to fill these in quickly, you could click and drag over everything that you want to fill in. You can see all these objects are filling in. Now you see all of them turn green, including the stem. So in order to do this, this isn't permanent, just go to Object, Expand, click OK when prompted. You want to ungroup everything by hitting Command Shift G on your keyboard twice. Now you can choose the stem again and change it back to black. And you can delete extra pieces that have filled in with the Live Paint tool. From here, I'm just going to select everything by hitting Command A on my keyboard, hitting Command C to copy it. And now I'm going to go into Photoshop. I'm going to hit Command N for a new document, make my banner about 1000 pixels by 300 pixels, hit Enter, and hit Command V on my keyboard to paste the illustration as a smart object. You always want to choose smart object so you can scale it up and down as needed and click OK. To scale it up, I can hold down Shift on my keyboard and click and drag one of the corners and then hit Enter when the size is where I like it and I'll move it off to the side. Now go ahead and add your blog title. I'm just going to add my blog title, which is Hello Brio, and hit Command Enter to lock in the text. And just position it where I want it. And I actually want this text to be black, so I can double click on the text tool again, highlight everything, change the color to black, click OK, and hit Command Enter. I'm going to hit Command-0 on my keyboard to zoom in to fit the whole screen. You can see that there's some weird stuff going on with this font. You can easily current individual letter pairs within Photoshop. Just hit T on your keyboard for the Type Tool in Illustrator and click between the letters that you want to adjust the spacing. And you're going to hit Option-Shift on your keyboard and left and right arrow in order to change the spacing to where you want it to be. You can do that for each individual letter or however you want. Again, the shortcut is Option-Shift. So that looks a lot better, just a lot more polished than it was before. Now I want to flip the leaf around so it faces the text. So I'm going to click on the leaf layer, hit Command T on my keyboard, and then right click to flip horizontal. Hit Command Enter to lock that in. The last thing I wanted to do is fill in some of the counters so that it has a little bit of the green within the text here. So I need to rasterize my text first to change it into a shape. So just right click on the text layer, click on Rasterize Type, and from here choose your magic wand tool by hitting W on your keyboard. Select everything that you want to be filled in with a color. You can select multiple things by holding down shift. You see a little plus sign come up next to your magic wand. Then I'm going to click on a new layer and I'm going to choose the color I want by hitting I on my keyboard and I'm going to pull it from the leaf that I already have. And on my new layer, I'm going to use the paint bucket tool, which is G on the keyboard and fill it in. Click uh, command D for select on your keyboard. Say I wanted to reduce the opacity of, the, of this color so it's a little less bright. I can just change the opacity here, slide it to where I want it, and that looks pretty good. To finish this up, I'm just going to hit C on my keyboard for crop, change the dimensions to unconstrained, and just drag the box so I have a nice cropped log header. So there is our finished blog header. If you wanted to play around with Live Trace in Illustrator, I've gone ahead and created a free leaf vector drawing that you can download at my blog at hellobrio.com. There's going to be a link under the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll talk to you next time.